We're going to show you how to restart a failed fermentation. I'm Greg. I'm Julie. And we're the Crafty Winers. So, we started this batch of regular Merlot in February of 24, so a month ago. And somehow we missed the fact that the uh, specific gravity, the initial gravity, was not high enough. There was not enough sugar in this. And subsequently, it stalled. So our initial gravity was 1.08. And the final gravity, when this basically stopped doing anything, was 1.004, which is basically 10% alcohol. We wanted 15% alcohol. We're kind of picky about that on our Merlots. And if you taste it, it just, sweet isn't the right word, but there's no dry mouthfeel. It is so, a little sweet. Uh, well, I don't know. It doesn't there taste, is no sugar in it. It doesn't taste bad um, by any means. I, our daughter liked it, um, but she likes wines that are a little less dry than we do. Um, and she doesn't care that it's 10% alcohol and we do. So we're, we're going to work uh, with it. So this is kind of an example of, um, why this is so important and, and paying attention we to We just it. finished a video. In fact, you'll notice we're wearing the same clothes. Did we <laughs> just finished a video on this. So yep. go back and watch that. We explain, uh, how, how the uh, hydrometer works and why it's important to, to measure it. Why it's important to not miss the fact that you're must doesn't have enough sugar to get to 15 percent and we'll link that video for you here but we're just going to say we did this on purpose so that we could teach you how to fix it well, that's what we did right that's what we did. Yeah. it's a teaching moment <laughs> so what are we going to do here so one thing we're going to do is we're going to add the sugar that we should have added to start with and she's got i have um a half, half a pound, pound of sugar dissolved in some water here. Mm -hmm. We did we have did it to... already because that's a lot less shaking for me and I'm <laughs> old and I don't like shaking big heavy gallon jugs for very Again, long. Again, aging is fun. Um, we did have to take out some wine here um, just to give us some room to be able to add this this water in here. Um, so you'll see that in our cup over there. We're not wasting it, don't worry. We're either drinking it or we're putting it back in, but because 100%. it's 10% we're probably putting it back in. Oh, I don't know. I might drink some. Desperate. <laughs> we just needed some room to be able to add the stuff back in and shake it. So we did use, I'm going to link this. This is, go watch the video on hydrometer because it will show you, it will let you download this chart. Um, but basically this chart, I was able to look at this and say, okay, my, my gravity was 1.08 and I want it to be uh, 1.110, which is where we like our Melos. So how much sugar do I need to add? And the chart, if you do the calculation, tells us half a pound. So that's yep. what's here. Again, we took this out so we had room. Um, you see our gallon marks on this jug. That's where we want to end up, preferably. And you can watch our etching video to know why you should do that. Well, you can see why you need to do that, because I know exactly where I need my liquid level to be. But it tells you how to do the, the etching on the carboy. So what we have is some Fermate O, which is yeast nutrient, it's uh, nitrogen. We have some yeast holes, which are basically dead yeast, but uh, for whatever morbid reason, putting dead yeast in there makes the yeast get excited. So we're going to put some of that in, and then we've got the original yeast. There's just yeast that's already in here, and probably we don't need to add any more. They're not dead, they're, uh, they're sleeping. But I'm going to add a little more just because I don't want to have to go through this again. So it's yeast is cheap. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit in the very last step. And then we'll put this back and hopefully in a couple of days, maybe even tomorrow, hopefully we start seeing some activity again. But this is just completely no activity. There is yeah, nothing going stopped. on. And it's had, there hasn't been for a while. So, so he said the yeast wasn't dead. Um, it's only mostly dead. Right? Princess Bride. <laughs> Gotta Had to have, throw that in. Gotta have your Princess Bride right. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to add is my Fermade O. And how much should we put in there? We are putting in a half teaspoon. Okay. 
All of this has been sanitized. Make yep. sure you sanitize everything. We have a Very video important. on sanitizing. Okay, this is a half teaspoon. I'll just go ahead and grab some out of here. I have a cool little knife thing here to level it out. It's a two person job. Yeah, apparently. Okay, so I'm going to just add this to so this. We're putting this it, is just some water. We're putting it in a mixing bowl so that we can get it all mixed before we put it in there because then I don't have to shake it as much. Okay. So Which then works. we are going to do uh, yeast holes. Um, half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. I don't know, let's, let's do a full teaspoon. Okay. You don't really need to worry about, with these ingredients, you don't need to worry about sanitizing between. The yeast would like the fermato if there's a little bit, but we are using a different. I got that pretty level on my own. We're using a different spoon too, so I guess they're not getting. They're not going to get happy from that. Um, go ahead and mix that up okay. real good. I'll just and use we'll this little uh, it in. one since it's already sanitized. We're going to put that in before we put our sugar water in because, in the scheme of things, it's more important to get. This in there than the sugar probably. It really doesn't want and to mix we're gonna, up. We're gonna get at least half the sugar in there. <laughs> My mixing is not working very well. This will end up. Uh, we're not gonna put you through watching this, so you'll get a short version of mixing this up. No, they have to sit here and watch me mix for five minutes. I'd watch you do that. <laughs> You're nice. Okay. Okay, so she got that all mixed up. We didn't make you sit through that agony. Um, now we're going to funnel it into our, we're going to funnel it into our, or very impotent wine. We're going to pour it using a funnel into our impotent wine. Just like so. Put all that in there. I grabbed a bottle of water to let her wash that out with, and then realized we have all kinds of water, so well, we don't need to do that. Sugar water. It's sugar water. It'll be fine. So just let's put it in there, and I'll clean that out a little bit. It's thick water. Just to get the stuff that's at the bottom. Just swirl it around a little bit. Try to get all that good stuff. And that will also serve as washing out this funnel a little. We're making it sticky with sugar water. It's Either gonna it's gonna make it sticky. Okay, okay so now we're gonna that. put in our sugar water, and we're gonna hope that the amount of wine that we took out of there is gonna make it so that we can still get back to that gallon line, but. It actually might be a little bit over. I'd like to be below it so we can put our wine back in there, but I think she wants to drink it. I'm just gonna drink it. Okay. Yeah, we're going over. Yeah, a little bit. It's fine. We will use a blow-off tube for this again instead of a um, regular airlock so that, because there isn't, there's not a lot of room in there. There is not. So this is going to come out the top, almost, I mean, unless it doesn't restart, it's coming out the top. So we'll use a uh, very well secured blow-off tube. And did we go over blow-off tubes? Not yet. We have not gone over blow off tubes yet, but we will do that. So, uh, what I'm going to do is tomorrow, probably tomorrow evening, I'll come and add a picture to this video of what this is doing so that you can see how well we did. I expect that probably it will be bubbling and you'll be able to we see, hope the, so. you'll be able to see the blow off tube at that point. Um, catch notes. From my batch notes, I was able, able to figure out what we had done wrong, which again was not letting, not allowing enough sugar in there, not for our, our desired ABV. So not paying attention to do this. Do your batch notes, and we <laughs> did a video on that. So. Um, yep, you gotta put the yeast I'm in. Gonna, I got ahead of myself. I'm gonna. So there is a yeast probably in the solution. There's also yeast at the bottom. I'm adding more yeast, not a ton. How but much? Uh, three pinches. Okay, three pinches. It, there's, this is enough yeast for between one and five gallons, so there, you don't need to be very exact. I put in there maybe about an eighth of this, and that's plenty since this has already got a lot of yeast in it. Um, so that should just guarantee that 
it goes where it should. And then I'm going to shake this for about three minutes so that this is all very well incorporated. And then I'm going to go put it back in our 55 degree storage with a carboy heater that's going to keep it at 77 degrees. And we will check back on this tomorrow. So this is our wine storage room uh, and fermenting room. We also have a little bit of other alcohols in here. It's temperature controlled 55 degrees most of the time. I took the carboy heater off this so that I could show it better. Um, it did work. We did get it restarted. But um, because of the 10% alcohol in there, we needed to give the yeast a little bit of a head start. So we ended up using some uh, distilled water, added the yeast to it when it was uh, the water was about 80, 80 degrees or so. And we let it sit for about 30 minutes to get a, get a hold. And then we put it in here and this did restart. The, the bubbles are so small that they're really hard to see with the camera, I'm noticing. So I'm going to turn the light off and try to get a flashlight on it so you can see. So you can see those bubbles there. Just barely. It's a slow fermentation. I definitely didn't need a blow-off tube, so I did put the airlock back on. Um, It'll probably take a couple weeks at this rate to get up to the 15% from 10%, but it is going again, so this was a success. Good luck trying it yourself. Uh, just make sure don't use um, don't use chlorine water when you are trying to get your yeast started, because the chlorine will kill or at least severely hurt the yeast. If you like this video, please click like and also leave us some comments, uh, feedback, what you liked about the video things you'd like to see in the future, we will respond to you, I promise. Also, please subscribe to the channel, tell it you want all notifications from us, um, and then you can see the stuff that we put out next. And thank you for watching our video. We'll see you next time. You have to cheers without. Okay. Cheers to you. Cheers.